Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I'm sharing with you all of the fragrances I have warmed in my home over the last week. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so some of the things you hear me talk about today can be found on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. So I continued with the wax melting challenge that's being hosted by Patricia Gates this week. I'm having a lot of fun, I really am, and I took a look at September's list of prompts and I'm inspired by a majority of them. So. I think I will be continuing with the wax melting challenge in September as well. I I think for the most part I probably will just continue with the prompts until like December, maybe late November, because that's kind of when I have specific like tastes. There are definitely things that I really want to melt around that time of the year. And I know last year when I was participating in the wax melting challenge. I kind of felt like I lost out on time that I could have spent with, you know, my favorite fragrances for that time of the year. So I think I will definitely take probably the end of November and December off from the Wax Melting Challenge, but so far I'm having a really great time. It's been a lot of fun. Really kind of makes me think about what I want to melt, uh, maybe pull some stuff that I don't think about that I do have like you know how you go to your stash and you pick out stuff and you have those fragrances that you always pull that they're like at the forefront of your mind but then you also have those fragrances that you still enjoy but you don't go to as often and I try to pull those out um, for the prompts so yeah it's really been helping like variety with the variety of stuff that I'm melting I guess so yeah so as I come through the prompts I will tell you what I melted for those but there's quite a few different types of things in here and then I do have one non wax item so we'll start with that I did finish up this bag of jumbo cotton balls from Target um, I pretty much only use these uh, for my nail polish <laughs> and uh, changing out the wax in the smaller bathroom because there's a mini um, warmer in there. And so, yeah, I finished this. I have a bag of the Walmart, like Equate brand, uh, jumbo cotton balls that replace this. I will tell you that these jumbo cotton balls are bigger than the Equate jumbo cotton balls. The Equate Jumbo Cotton Balls, I have to use two, where this one I normally only have to use one for one um, cube of wax. So, yeah. These are definitely bigger than the Equate brand, but Cotton Ball is pretty much a cotton ball for me. And so, yeah. I enjoyed these, and I would purchase those again. So that's the only non-wax item I have in here. Let's get into the wax. So I only have wax melts this week. I've been laying off the candles because it's just been too hot. Don't want to be adding extra heat from flames in my house when it is like in the almost hundreds. <laughs> so I have here everything autumn from Pink Zebra. I did this for a wax melt challenge prompt. I am not quite ready for a fragrance like this, but this particular one is not very like spicy it's not really like fall to me this was the wax melt challenge prompt that said to sneak in something fall so everything autumn is fall notes of pumpkin apple and pear with a bit of cinnamon musk like i said this is not very spicy this is more like those bright fruits i immediately get the apple and the pear there's a slight hint of pumpkin and a slight hint of cinnamon but I really, really enjoy this one. I did two scoops in each warmer out here in the open concept area. And then I did one scoop over here on my computer desk. I have the uh, Simply Diamond, the Father's Day edition, Simply Diamond warmer here on my computer desk. This was great. Really, really strong fragrance. I really like this one. It's a good like fall fragrance for me because I don't really like heavy, spicy, fall fragrances often during um, the fall season and so yeah I'll probably be laying off of this until maybe late September probably October that's usually when I start pulling my more fall fragrances because by then it's not as hot but it's still hot but yeah I enjoy this one I would definitely repurchase more of this in fact I probably will uh, get another carton before the catalog changes with Pink Zebra 
so that was the fall day. I did do one more pink zebra carton. Um, and this is farmhouse cider. This is my favorite apple cider scent. It is a warm drink of tart apple juice, cinnamon, and clove. So for me, this is a nice bright apple cider. It's not really spicy. And that's just how I like my apple ciders to be. I don't really like super spiced apple cider. So again, two scoops in each warmer, one scoop over here in my computer desk warmer, and it was amazing. I absolutely love this fragrance. I will be getting another carton before the catalog changes over. And so, yes, I think the prompt for this day was like uh, something that you find at a farmer's market or something. And I, I don't really go to farmer's markets, but I would think that during like, you know, the holidays and stuff, you would be able to find a vendor that would sell apple cider. So really, really good. I do definitely love that farmhouse cider, and I'm so glad that it's back in the catalog. Um, we have this one. This is a Sassy Girl Aroma Bag of Blocks in Ocean Minerals. So this is seaweed, kelp, seagrass, and phytoplankton. So these are the colors in the blocks. This smells like, let me see. I think it's this one. The line that you get at the Disney hotels. Um, it's from the H2O brand. This is the sea salt. I can't remember if it was this one. Or if it was the shampoo. Because I know the shampoo is different. I think it's the shampoo though. Because this one said, smells like a shampoo day, the prompt. Yeah, this is definitely different. So it's not the one that they'd use for the hand lotion. It's the one that they use for the shampoo. And this smells spot on. This is super strong. Super strong. I put one of these blocks in the mini warmer in the bathroom. And it just like permeated out of the bathroom down the hall into my bedroom. It was super strong. So, yes, definitely like right on the mark with the dupe. Uh, fragrance with that one and so yeah definitely reminds me of being on vacation at a Disney resort too because that's the uh, toiletries you get when you stay at a Disney park resort we did uh, we're all mad here out here in the open concept area um, finished off this clam this is from the Alice in Wonderland collection this is like a berry kind of lemonade type scent I really like this one. It's in my bi-monthly club. That was really good. And then on my computer desk that day, since we did finish off that clam, and I didn't want to open another one, I just used a piece of watermelon lemonade from Rose Girls. This is really good. Definite repurchase for me, though I do have a full bag of this as well. This is like watermelon and fizzy pop. It's so good. Super strong too. I only used one piece in my Simply Diamond Warmer and it was amazing. Absolutely love that one. We skipped a prompt um, and that was to melt your favorite kitchen scent. Um, I don't have a warmer in the kitchen because we have an open concept area. So it's just whatever is like in the two warmers out here. Um, and so we decided to do the Fall Into Love. This is coming out in the Harvest Collection. And it's like a kind of eucalyptus juniper with a tree and some fruit. I think there's supposed to be some orange zest, but that is not the fruit that I'm getting in here. So when I talked to you about this last week, I had mentioned that for me, the top of the bar smelled drastically different from the bottom. And I was really curious to see how all of the scents were going to mix together when it was warmed. So I did seven cubes out here in the open concept area. Three in the warmers, both warmers, so that's six. And then I put one cube over here on my computer desk. So I will say that I definitely got different fragrances from the warmer that I have on my desk, which is pretty close in proximity to me, 
to when I had stood up and say went down the hall to the restroom. When I'm sitting here at my computer desk, I got a lot of that really like eucalyptus kind of juniper. But it was also kind of like, this is going to sound really weird, kind of like a medical office type smell. It was kind of strange. Like, I kind of get that now even after i've melted it i didn't get it when i was like cold sniffing it but now that i've like smelt that on warm i kind of smell it on cold also but again that's the warmer that had the closest proximity to me so when i got up and walked to the restroom the scent that i got in like the open concept area was more like a really nice apple juice I don't know, it was really weird. It definitely reminded me of apple juice. But I don't think there's any apple in here. And so, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to buy more of this bar because I want to mix it with something like eucalyptus wreath or very snowy spruce and see what kinds of scent notes I get. Um, this wasn't bad. It definitely didn't put me off. It was just like one of those days where I kept having to think, okay, what am I smelling? I wasn't quite sure. I couldn't put my finger on it. And I was getting different things in different areas of my house, which is not something that normally happens with me, but I know it can happen with other people in their homes. So yeah, it was a really interesting day. My daughter really likes this smell. Like I said, it's not putting me off. I do like it. But I think just for me, a lot of it was I was thinking a lot about what I was trying to smell, what kind of notes I was getting. I was really confused with the fact that I was getting something different over here at my desk. Whereas down the hall, I was getting like this really nice apple juice scent note. And so, yeah, I'm not getting any orange zest. I think orange zest is the scent note. But yeah, I'll definitely have to pick up a couple more bars of this so that I can play around with melting other things with it because I'm really curious now about the possibilities for this bar. So yes, we'll be purchasing more of that one. I heard about this scent combo on Elizabeth Scenes and Senses channel. Um, and we did this one in the master bath. So I did a cube of Just Breathe which is in the current catalog. It will carry over to the fall. This is one of my favorites. It is eucalyptus, lemon, and a medley of mints. This one is a really nice, bright, zesty, like, fun eucalyptus fragrance. It's not like that more subdued, like, kind of more cozy eucalyptus you get with eucalyptus wreath. This one's definitely brighter more like uplifting kind of and i really like that that lemon in there really like makes this bar and it is one of my faves was one of my first scentsy bars it was in my first scentsy six pack absolute love um so we did a cube of that and then we did a cube of squeeze the day this is also in the current catalog carrying over to the fall this is like lemon and vanilla cream i think but for me, what I get is lemon cookies. I definitely get lemon cookies out of this bar. So I don't tend to reach for this one often. But Elizabeth Scenes and Sense had done this one and she said that her husband really liked it. So I thought, why not? I have both bars and I know I really like Just Breathe. And I've never thought to mix any more lemon into the Just Breathe because I like it just the way it is. Um, and so I tried this. It was good. I definitely think that it needed more Just Breathe, though. I could have done two Just Breathe to one Squeeze the Day because this was really Squeeze the Day heavy. Like, I still got the eucalyptus, but it was secondary to the Squeeze the Day. And so I think two um, Just Breathe to one Squeeze the Day for me is the better mix. I think I will also try the Just Breathe with the lemon sorbet and see what I get out of that. But yes, 
I would recommend this one as well. And like I said, I got it off of Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. I think it was in her What I've Been Warming video for this past week. So, yeah, really enjoyed that one. I did another mix in my bedroom. And so I heard about this one from a Rose Girls pre-order list. She had a scent on her pre-order list. Not the current one, I don't think, but the one before. And it said something like morning sex at the hotel or something like that. And it was morning sex and Swedish dream salt. And I thought, I have Swedish dream salt. I don't enjoy Swedish dream salt on its own. So I'm looking for ways to use it up. So I have this Swedish dream salt from Destination Wax. This is salty sea breeze, cucumber, oak moss, lavender, balsam, and lime. This one, I get a lot of lavender, and I'm not a big fan of lavender. You will find that there are definitely blends that I like that have lavender in it, but I can't really like pick up on the lavender. I do not like strong lavender fragrances, but if it's mixed, it's usually okay. This has a lot of stuff in it, but it's just like, okay. It's not something that I feel like I have to have all the time. And it's definitely not one that I reach for a lot. So I thought, why not mix it? So I had this Swedish Dream Salt. I used one of these cubes in the warmer. I did this one in my Nova warmer that's in my bedroom. And I had Morning Sex and Blackberry, or Blackberry and Morning Sex from Rose Girls. I am not quite sure of the scent notes for Morning Sex, but it's like a fresh, kind of clean, fresh, maybe like a little bit laundry scent. And then there's Blackberry included in this. I thought, you know, it's close enough, right? Close enough. It's still got the Morning Sex. I've got the Swedish Dream Salt, and now I'm just adding a little bit of Blackberry, which is a fruity note that I enjoy. This blend is really good, though. I really like that. Um, and so, yeah, I mixed one of these mini melters with one cube of the uh, Swedish Dream Salt. And this was really good. I enjoyed this. This was a strong medium in my bedroom, and I definitely do this again. So I think I am going to be using the rest of the Swedish Dream Salt with either the Morning Sex or the Makeup Sex, which is a... Beachless blend. It's uh, Coastal Kale, Satsuma, and Raindrops plus a masculine and fresh like note. And so, yes, I would recommend this blend as well if you have either of those from um, any vendor. I got an order of Pink Zebra in this week. They had released some of their fall fragrances early in the month. And so, or should I say, they launched their fall winter catalog earlier in the month. And so there were definitely some new scents in there that I wanted to try. And one of them was Lakeside Retreat. This is Falling Leaves, Eucalyptus, and Fresh Air. I was a little bit hesitant on this one because of the falling leaves. Not usually a fan of leaves scent notes. But this one has a lot of eucalyptus. And I really, really like pink zebra's eucalyptus scent oil every eucalyptus fragrance that i've tried from pink zebra i liked and so that was kind of one of the reasons why i picked this one up this was really good i'm definitely purchasing a carton of this it was eucalyptus heavy the leaves are barely there like i barely get any of the leaves but it's like eucalyptus and fresh air which is like kind of my thing um, or eucalyptus and like aquatic notes. That's another one of the things I go for. This was really good. Super strong performer. It was a strong, I would say strong <laughs> in the master bath. Really good. Definitely getting more of that. Another pink zebra that I tried this week that I think it was around last holiday season, but we just never picked any up. Um, and that was black cherry. This is Tart Cherry, Fruity Berry, and Sugar. This was really good as well. It's definitely more of a fall-appropriate cherry smell. 
we did this one out here in the open concept area. Um, two scoops in each warmer out here. I did not use an extra scoop out here on my desk. It was still super strong. I would say it was a strong out here in the open concept area. That extra fruity berry note really kind of like rounds out that cherry. It was really, really good. And so I'll definitely be purchasing more of that as well. Um, there is a mix in their catalog for this plus the Aspen Pine, which I've showed to you a couple times before in a warming video. Um, and it's not one of the pine fragrances that I really enjoy. So I'm looking for ways to mix it up. And so I will be trying that mix with this one as well. But we did this one for the banana split day. Melt one of the scents or ingredients for a banana split. And I know this is black cherry, but you can get cherries on a banana split. And so I thought, why not, right? And then another one that we got in my pink zebra order, which is actually one that I don't care for, um, is this air care one. So it's like supposed to help like freshen the air, take care of odors and things. Um, this is white cedar, fresh cypress, and warm amber. I don't usually get the air care plus for like freshening. I just get it because the scents sound interesting. Um, so I was a little bit hesitant on this one because I am not a fan of cedar. Um, cedar is super strong for me and it's not one that I enjoy. But I really like cypress. I like cypress as a fragrance um, and so I thought well maybe if it's mixed with the cypress it won't be bad so I did this one in the master bath and as it warmed more and more of the cedar started coming out see on cold this is a nice blend it's like half cedar half cypress which is tolerable for me but on warming, this was mostly cedar with the slightest hint of cypress, and I do not like this one. So this is a definite no for me. I will not be purchasing any more of that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of that bag, though, because I don't really want to warm that again, and I'm not quite sure what to mix into it in order to make it not so cedary. Okay, so moving on. I am doing this one currently in my Nova Warmer in my bedroom, and that is Lighthouse from L3 Waxy Wonders. So I got this one in the four-pack Fluted Tarts. This is Sea Air, White Musk, Lavender, Cashmere, Amber, Tonka, Cedar, and Plum. So I heard a lot about this fragrance in the L3 Waxy Wonders uh, Facebook group. I pretty much only go on Facebook now just for... Uh, those like wax company groups see when the updates are and hear about all the fragrances from all of the people that are in the group So I had to pick this one up This one is really good. It is like super aquatic -y. It's not super salty. I told you before I don't like my salty sea air to be super salty This is a nice aquatic relaxing fragrance. I don't really get like cashmere or musk or cedar it's just like a nice fresh aquatic scent and i really really like this one so i'll definitely purchase more of this as i see it so with this one i cut the uh fluted tart into quarters so i only use one piece like this in my warmer and it was sufficient enough to give me a nice medium fragrance in my bedroom it's on its third night and it's just about time for me to change it really really recommend this one if you like those aquatic scents lighthouse is a winner for me finished up this clam i did this one last week as well so we had one little piece in this clam of Plumeria waters. So last week we did a full clam out here in the open concept. 
and we did the last of this clam that was already on the go in the smaller bathroom. Again, really, really nice aquatic floral. It is my favorite from Sensationals, and we purchased this one quite a bit. Definitely love that one. Today in the open concept area, we're doing a wax melt challenge prompt to melt a back to school scent. And so, you know, immediately I kind of thought back to school apples, you know, teachers and apples, but my daughter thought, hey, why don't we melt this one? So we're doing this one and it totally makes sense. This is Level Up from Rose Girls. This is part of her Mario line. It is Blackberry and Speechless. So Coastal Kale, Satsuma and Raindrops. This is a favorite of mine. Um, I will definitely repurchase. I do have a backup bag. This is amazing. Definitely speechless heavy plus the blackberry. And it is going great out here in the open concept area. I have two cubes under the candle lamp over there. And I have three cubes in my uh, melt cup warmer from Yankee Candle. It's amazing. Really, really good. I'm absolutely loving it. So yeah, I thought level up, you know, you're starting school, you're, you're a grade higher, you're leveling up, and so I thought that would be great. So yes, really, really love that one. In the smaller bathroom right now, we have Sea Witch from L3 Waxy Wonders. So this is in her Matrix Melts, which kind of looks like a candy bar. The, the piece is like pretty thin. So we're doing one of these squares in the smaller warmer in the smaller bathroom. Seattle Rain, Eucalyptus, and Lemon. This one is really good as well. I remember that when I had done this the first time, I didn't quite like it. But this one has sat for a while. And now that like Seattle Rain and Eucalyptus are like really playing well together. And then you get that bit of lemon that just kind of lifts everything up. I'm enjoying this one a lot now, so I would repurchase this one, but I think for me, this one is a much better fragrance after it sat a while than when I had originally got it fresh. In the master bath, we are doing a lavender and speckle scents. This is winter citrus mint. So I got this a while ago when she had just started like pouring and I just never reached for this one but um had a kind of hankering for a more like fresh kind of citrusy uh fragrance for the bathroom and so i'm like you know what this one might be nice daughter really thought that this one would be good as well um it does say warm spices but i will say that i don't get a lot of spice with it so it's sparkling citrus fresh pine warm spices and spearmint I definitely get the sparkling citrus just a touch of pine and you get a mintiness but I can't tell you that is spearmint like on cold it's much more spearmint than when it's warming when it's warming there's barely any mint there like I can tell there's mint it's not a cooling sensation kind of mint but it's just like mint i don't know how else to describe it but like i know it's there but i definitely get a lot of citrus first i get a touch of pine and a mint and this is really really good i would definitely repurchase this again this is doing really great in the master bath as well i'm getting about a medium um, and then i use just one whole piece in my full-size warmer and it's doing great. Really, really enjoy lavender and speckle scents. Um, I believe she has a pre-order going on right now. Um, I'm not sure when that's closing though. I am not going to partake though because I believe every fragrance that's on the pre-order list is bakery or some type of foodie type scent. And I am not one that enjoys that. So I did purchase from the previous one and so I've got some of those to go through as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think they just, they just like cured enough where I'm past the date where she recommends to melt. So I'm looking forward to trying some of the ones that I picked up from then. 
And I think this is the last wax that I have for you today. So this was a wax melt challenge prompt. It was to melt a scent most people hate but you enjoy. So I had to go for Lush Gardenia. Again, this is one of my very first Scentsy fragrances. It was in my very first Scentsy six pack. It is just gardenias and tuberose. Absolute rock star performer. We used four cubes out here in the open concept area, two cubes in each warmer, and it was super strong. Absolute fave. I really, really love this. I'm so glad that I put it in my club. It is never leaving, never leaving, unless it comes back for a little while. But yes, absolute love. I know there are a lot of people out there that do not like this bar, but I absolutely love that one. So that will do it for me today. I know there's lots of stuff happening at the 1st of September. We've got our new catalog, the fall winter catalog coming out. Harvest collection is releasing. I think the NFL collection is coming back. There's just a lot. There was a lot. <laughs> I think uh, consultants are also getting early access to like the breast cancer awareness collection, which I am excited about. My mother is a breast cancer survivor. Um, and so, yeah, that collection, definitely, I'll be picking up that set of fragrances. And I believe we're also going to get early access to the holiday fragrances, which I'm not sure yet if I'm actually going to get the consultant early access because a majority of them are not to my taste. So I'm still having to think about that, but there's lots of exciting stuff coming up. And so... That all happens on Friday, so don't forget to put all of your spring summer fragrances in a club or in your club um, if you don't want to lose them. My kind of thought process is that Scentsy does look at what people club and does base their decision on what's coming back, not only from catalog sales, but from what people have put in their club. That's just my theory. I don't know for sure, but it seems like just based on like collections that we see all the time, that that is kind of a big like thing that they look at club stats. That's just my theory. So make sure that you put your scents in your club or create a club. The April scent of the month I think is going away so that is the Aloha Orchid bar and the Lux Leaves Warmer so if you're interested in that now is the time to pick those up I think I forgot to mention that the Monsters Inc collection is out right now so that's super fun it's got a really cute warmer um, I'm still thinking about picking that one up it's got the Mike Wazowski mini warmer and the fragrance which I'm definitely going to get some of that on my next order along with the new princess bar so I'm just kind of waiting until I have a few more things to buy so like September 1st is kind of the date um, for me to be making that order because I definitely want some of the fall winter fragrances to try and then I've got those other licensed bars from just the last couple weeks that have released that I want to pick up as well and oh, the Disney pumpkin warmer, the Mickey pumpkin, the iconic like Mickey face pumpkin warmer is coming out September 1st. So if you want that one, definitely get on early because I think that one's going to sell out fast. I think after hard thought, I'm probably going to pass on that. I still got a couple days to decide, but in talking with my family, I think I don't need it as you can see i'm still trying to talk myself into it <laughs> but the the kind of general consensus right now is that i don't need it so we'll see <laughs> but yeah i think that's all lots of stuff happening this week in sensia land for sure um, and lots of exciting things happening so let me know down in the comments below what you've melted this week are you participating in the wax melting challenge and if you are what did you melt for the prompts for this past week and if nothing else and you'd just like to let me know that you were here if you could leave me a palm tree emoji for uh maui i've got my 
uh, Maui Forever shirt on from Crazy Shirts that I got. Um, Crazy Shirts was doing a fundraising opportunity, and so I made a purchase. I've purchased a couple other things from other companies there also that are donating funds to the cause and will continue to do so. Um, for those of you who have watched me for a while, you know I grew up in Hawaii. I actually grew up on the island of Oahu and all of my friends and family are on Oahu. So thankfully, all of my friends and family were safe, but just seeing all of the devastation and everything happening there is just heartbreaking. So I am continuing to donate money when and where I can. And so, yeah, if you could leave me that palm tree emoji down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. And that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.